Do you have tea? I do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What kind of tea do you have? I have, um, do you know I have Melbourne breakfast? Uh, it's like, it's kind of like English breakfast, but it's got vanilla stuff in it. And so, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's a Melbourne thing. I, and I, I have some green tea, just yeah. some honey and sugar. Cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers. Yeah. Is there any mentors or someone that uh, supported you when you first started? Um, I always found that, uh, not one singular one, but I always found that when I was doing jobs, uh, there would often be, you know, the female lead of the show and there's, you know, some great, um, actresses here in Australia that we, I always found they were great to look up to because they had, you know, the situation of going home and doing the washing for the kids on the weekend, but then still working during the weekday and like nailing it, just sort of just being a real boss, just getting all the sort of, uh, parts of their life in control, in order, and, and doing it all at once. And I always found that really impressive. And you know, it was so interesting. I was watching one of your uh, interviews, and you said, like, you were seeking balance. And I feel like mm. that's something for me that I'm seeking right now and learning how to be myself and understanding myself and yeah. getting to know myself, really. So I wanted to know, like, have you found balance? And, like, how do you keep your balance? <laughs> it's hard. But, oh, you just made me think of it. So you're like, you'll keep your balance. That's, I guess, what you got to do. You got to like lean one way for a bit in order to know you've got to go back this way to like, you can't stay still and be balanced. Right. That, right? It's like, that's what you're meant to be doing. So you got to sort of lean in through all the challenges or the good things. And yeah, what do I do to keep balance though? Uh, I hang out with my friends a lot. Like I have a couple of just oh. really good, good people who I love and respect and, and, want their opinions on on things and collaborate with them so yeah that's how i i guess i keep balance yeah that's good just like that's crazy it's so simple just something so simple yeah. is hanging out with friends that's yeah crazy. yeah what do you do uh, <laughs> i guess like the typical thing i i i meditate I definitely yeah. try to meditate as much as possible. Oh, really good. I, I love meditation. Um, I guess working out as well is a good way to kind of balance yourself. So just like all the mindfulness type things. Yeah. That's how I um, so like for me, I know I'm definitely like a nervous type, like anything that I I was nervous before this. Like I get nervous about anything that I do. But I usually I usually get over it. But do you get nervous? When you start oh, yeah. a new job. Yeah. Hugely. Yeah. Like when I did Succession, I thought it was going to be five for the first five episodes of the first season. Because I was like, what am I doing here? I feel like such a fraud. I don't have any, I don't deserve to be here. Um, right. And, you know, I think it's normal. Like anytime you, you, you try something new or you try something challenging, there's the nervousness about how it's going to turn out and, and worried about what people will think or what your friends and family will think. Um, but... I don't know, I'm getting, I'm getting used to and I'm liking this situation of like being okay to fail and seeing what mm-hmm. like I can learn from, from that and thinking of it wow. as not a destination but as part of a journey. So that the, the job is not the final product. It's my experience of the job is part of like a bigger picture and a bigger learning part. Yes. So when did you realize you wanted to do this for a living? Uh, you know what? I think it was more of a case of realizing I could. I think like for a while, um, you know, you don't, you see people on TV and you sort of watch films and I watch a lot of cartoons growing up and I guess I didn't know that I could do it as for a living. So, so wanted to was different, but then able to, um, yeah, I guess after I graduated drama school, it's like, okay, well you went and studied for it. So you better try and do it as a, as a, as a job, as a career. How did you know you wanted to go to school for it particularly or just go into the film world, you know, acting? And- yeah, I guess, I guess I kind of, um, I always did like 
extracurricular drama classes or was always doing acting classes at school or making up plays with my friends. And I guess that was encouraged by my parents to, to do that. And then also like not in a way of going, uh, you know, it can't be a real job. It's a very small amount of people who can, you know, make it as a real job, which is totally understandable. They're just trying to protect you from, from things, um, from, from life instability. But, (laughs) you know, um, but then I was in year 12, my final year of high school, and my drama teacher said that I should audition for a drama school for college. And um, yeah. so I just, just decided to do that because it, sort of taking suggestions from, from, from people who knew better than I did and um, seeing where the wind took me, yes. Yeah. Okay. I have one more question for you, yeah. which is why do you, or why do you think TV is important? Oof. It's like stories, right? It's, it's telling, telling our stories, telling each other's stories, telling parts of, of life and, and the world and cultures that we don't know personally that we could experience through other people. And, and through that, you know, you, then you get to understand and then through understanding there's less fear and there's less prejudice and there's less mm. hatred. You know, it is like once you know something and understand it, then you love it, right? Like you, or you can begin to love it. Yeah, that's why we have to tell the stories. That's why we. That's why TV is important. Yes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this, and congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is your first Emmy nomination, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Which is strange to be so distant from it all in Australia, but uh, um, still enjoyable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll be getting nominated for an Emmy, sure. In hey your future. Now. <laughs> yeah, man. Just, you know, keep going, keep doing what you're doing. You're becoming like a, an auteur, you know, writing, directing, acting. Yeah. Just do it all. 